talking about helping the world. And, and I'm saying to myself, well, does that color your view of covering his helping the world? And how is he doing it? And how is it impacting people? So I think there is sort of a blinded uh, loyalty to the success of this presidency as opposed to stepping back and being objective as to the impact these policies are going to have, not just today, but on future generations. So much has been made of Arlen Specter leading. You said about this that, quote, he left to further his own political interest because he knew that he was going to lose a Republican primary due to his liberal left-leaning voting record. Yeah, absolutely. Without hesitation, and I repeat it again, and I thank you for doing it. The reality of it is, you know, let's not get sanctimonious and, and teary-eyed and weepy about this. Uh, as far as the Republican Party is concerned, there are no apologies for, for this man yeah. leaving the party. This is the same party, Sean, that took it on the chin for him in 2004. You know, so all of a sudden, our conservative values, which he rode into office on, I might say, in 1980, are suddenly, uh, you know, turned sour on him. Well, that's not our doing. Hey, what the amazing thing is, he's trying to claim that the, the party's gone hard right, but he was also talking about the Reagan days. Reagan did define conservatism. If anything, the Republican. <coughs> so now they're off beating up the other kid who can't sit at their table at lunch anymore, right? Um, and so they're going to make their own treehouse where Arlen Specter can't come into play. Few quick things before we get into the, the, the other 100 days presidencies. It, it's interesting because there's a tremendous amount of debt that, that we have sort of been put into by our current president. Whether or not his numbers are correct, uh, it's the same as sort of when Bill Clinton was in office. Uh, Bill Clinton left, we had a surplus. It wasn't actual surplus. It was a projected surplus given how the economy was working at the time. But Sean Hannity's not gonna specify that because he's not interested in the truth. He's interested in making sure that he has an interesting program. Um, again, Michael Steele's job is to try to save his own job. Uh, so he's, of course, going to be critical of, of Barack Obama and how Obama has, has handled things one way or another. Um, but I, I think the other thing that's important to understand about this assessment here is that the amount of debt that the current budget put forth by the administration will place on the backs of Americans is something that isn't discussed enough. And Sean Hannity is actually doing the public a service by mentioning this issue. Now, he may not put it in the best context. He may not be particularly honest about it. He may not really know what he's talking about. But the fact of the matter is, the president has put us in tremendous amount of debt. Between our bailout last fall and what's been happening this spring, like I said, each and every one of us owes about $3,000 to China right now. You can pay up, give back your tax refund if you want to. I mean, that, that's, that's how dire uh, the circumstances are. So on that level, uh, again, it's, it's, it's an issue of importance for at least this part of the first 100 days. Um, any 